a very quick video and I'm going to show you guys how I achieve some of my lazy day hairstyles um, or like if my hair is not acting right or whatever so um, this is one of them that I'm going to show you um, it was actually requested on Instagram by a couple of people like okay what are you doing so I'm going to show you the two ways that I achieve this shape um, sometimes I like a little a little higher but um, kept it kind of low profile today kind of um, so if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve my two little uh, half mohawks then stay tuned. So first I kind of divide my hair into about four sections to do this. Um, so I just you know finger part it and I go straight across like so. It doesn't have to be um, perfect of course because it's uh, you know it's you're not going to be able to see the parts. I'll take just the ends so all of this is still kind of like loose and then I'll twist it down so only part that's twisted of my hair is from here to here so I'll kind of like push it back on itself and then pull it around like like that okay so that's all I've done And then I, of course, bobby pin that in place. And also, like, I make my little adjustments at the end. So, second section, I take it. And this time I go in the opposite direction because you don't want it to be all leaning to this side. So, I take it and I go around back this way. Oh, I want to twist that a little more. Take that back around there. And so I did the same thing. And then bobby pin, right? Okay, so this is section number three. And what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter which way I twist this one this time. Again, I'm twisting it only from here to the end. And then I'm putting this one forward and then I'm going to spread that out so the end of number three is being tucked between two and three okay and I know how it looks now but don't worry we're going to puff it up and fill it up when we get finished okay so this is the back piece and I'm just going to take that Again, and I'm only twisting this one from here to not necessarily the end, but just twisting it enough to get a little control. And I spread it out. Daddy, and pin it, right? So now that I have the shape that I want, I'm just going to kind of make adjustments. I usually do have to make all the adjustments to the one in the front. Because you see how this part is kind of sticking out and this is kind of loose. I don't want it to be like that. I want to be able to, if I go outside, I want to feel like, you know, if the wind's blowing, I want to know that it's all in place. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this, tuck that colored part in. don't want to call any attention over there. So I'm just going to puff it out. Somebody asked me once that I have, was I using um, Marley hair? No, I'm not. And so I'm trying to do this in the camera. This doesn't really feel right. But I just kind of tuck it and make adjustments until it's um, looking right. So that's kind of like the quick way to do it. 
okay? And then you just, you know, anything you see out of place. And then use as many bobby pins as you need to to get it to act right. See, I have a piece here that's sticking out, so I'll figure out a way to tuck that in. Okay? So that's that. And this one is a little more uh, low profile than the rest. I mean, okay? So that's it for that one. And then I'll show you now how to do the other one. Okay guys, so here is going to be the second one. Um, my hair is about 12 days post wash. I forgot to tell you that on the first part, but I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how I achieved the other one um, that gets a lot of comments as well, okay? For this one, I actually just um, separate my hair into one third parts. So there's only going to be three sections um, for this particular one. Okay, so I section off the front first. Again, y'all don't look too close because tomorrow is wash day. I'm just showing you guys this really quickly because um, um, this is best for me on old hair. <laughs> so just don't be looking too close or staring too hard because you might see something you don't want. Okay, so to start this one off, I kind of just take my hair in this last section and I do have a piece that's shorter than the rest because of course I told you guys that my hair is um, it goes from long to short in the back so um, if that comes out then I'll um, show you guys how I you know correct that part if you guys have like the same issue or whatever okay so um, just this back section and I have it at the end and I take my finger about halfway down the hair and kind of like fold it over my finger and take that end of the hair and put it to my scalp okay um, and then for this finger I just bring it around so my hair is kind of like rolled up in there and this piece that's the short piece I was talking about I'll show you guys how I fix that in a minute but for now I'm just going to pin this at the side to make sure my little hair roll is secure okay and I just kind of do it on both sides and then I spread it out a little bit okay so I'm going to show you guys how I fix this back piece I just take it and pull it over and then pin it down okay okay so now for the middle section I do the same thing, finger halfway down the hair, the end to the scalp, and then I roll it onto itself and push it back towards the, the other roll, okay? So I'm going to pin that down at the sides. section number three in the front I take it and I put my hand here pull it around and then I kind of like tuck it into that roll and pin it in there okay and so to kind of fix this part that's a little higher than the rest I, um, I take a straight pin and I just kind of stick it in there to hold that part down and then like little flyaways like right here I take them I either tuck them in and if they won't stay in I'll just bobby pin them okay ladies so that's it So, um, uh, so that's it guys just you know two super easy lazy day bad hair day rainy day whatever you want to call it super easy uh, hairstyles um, so to the ladies who asked I hope that this was helpful to you and for you know everybody I hope it was helpful to you and that you enjoyed this tutorial and um, 
yeah so i'm about to get out of here and um i do have another i do have a couple others that i do but um i'll put that in the next set because i don't want to make this video too long okay so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial i'm gonna go sit my butt down because this baby is kicking my butt you guys want to see my belly i'll show y'all real quick Whew. okay so here we go so this is where i am now what's what is this um 30 weeks 30 here i am oh so cute and i still have my my belly ring in so that's that and i think i'm starting to get some stretch marks here but i've been putting coconut oil yeah they're coming oh boy so what is this week week 30 or whatever i don't know what is this i'm a bad mom <laughs> i can't even i can't even keep track um this is week 30 okay so it'll be 31 weeks in two days so um the baby's coming he's on his way so yeah that's me right now um and i'm gonna make a video too about my pregnancy so i can tell you guys a little bit about it Anyway, y'all, I got to go. I got to go sit down. Bye. So, um, <clears throat> you thumbs down my video, right? And, uh, I'm wondering, though, like, why you keep watching? Which is cool, you know, I mean, go ahead and give me the view. You know, you're helping me out. But thumbs it down but if you don't like the videos and I bet you it's like the same couple of people that keep thumbsing down the video thumbsing down whatever keep giving my videos a thumb down because it's just that one or two which is cool it doesn't bother me but what's funny is that you keep coming back which means you can't resist me either <laughs> I love you back.